What are you doing? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. They want us, Arthur. They want us, and they are going to have us. Maybe. The game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, Here, that much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denise. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be. Lord Dutch Vanderlyn. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? <laughs> you told on no, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? You calm down, Arthur. <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. You. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come. Micah reckons there's a rat. Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. That will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No noise! Kevin Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. 
Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all... This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. But I made no such promise. Come along. Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Like a lady won't help us if you're not going to act like one. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Comb O'Driscoll. Uh, so... Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this. In this. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. He's to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are civilization is to prosper. <laughs> Die! 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 Okay, let's Die! Go. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go, cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? We're ready to ambush. What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. We're ready to fire. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! They're only kids. Keep looking. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come on! Well, 
Horser. Put your hands up. I say put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Oh, my. Oh, I got you! Oh. You're okay. Oh. You're okay. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me? Of your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! When I was your age, I fought. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? Oh, all right, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. You gotta help these men. And anyone see Eagle Flies? Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! <laughs> so good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. He got one! Uh, a white one! Uh, uh, I need help! Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job? Well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Pearson left. Told Uncle. 
The traitors? Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off... Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe ain't we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I'm always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all. Going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. He insists upon it. He insists. Yeah! Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through with this? Of course we are. John! I'll get John! You protect that money! Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha, ha! They took Abigail. I say, Jack, we hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his men took her to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me! You left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! 
All them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. <coughs> He's lying. He's lying. <coughs> it is over now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's a rat. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. 